The one piece of photo gear that I would never leave home without would probably be a camera. But other than the camera itself would be a 24 to 70 f2.8. I never go anywhere without that lens. If there's one piece of gear that I wouldn't leave home without, it'd be a tripod. I never leave home without my um, remote. I love shooting early in the morning, late in the evening, and that requires stability. It requires a conscious effort to, to be stable at all times. And so that's, that's a piece of equipment that I, I almost never travel without. I shoot a lot uh, off camera flash, and I shoot a lot with my remote. Uh, so I always have it in my bag, whether I'm gonna use it or not, it's always there. Truth be told, I bring everything with me. A wipe or cloth or something for my lens. I would say the one thing that I never leave without is a little rocket blower. I'm liking to photograph water, I like to get close to the water. Because I like to get close to the water, it's, the, it's constantly getting splashed, there's constant spray. At any time I'm out on location and I see dust on my lens or something, I'm like, oh, I need to get the rocket blower out. And I just realized years ago that that spray ruins my photos. I've got, I've got lens cloth wipes in every nook and cranny of my laptop bag, of my camera bag, of my office. My wife finds them in the bathroom. I, don't even know how. I, I always have Allen keys with me, because you never know. I always carry some knives and multi-tools. The one piece of photo gear that I never leave home without is gaffer's tape. I have repaired underwater housings. I've locked the door in a sleazy hotel in Kathmandu. I mean, I've used duct tape on camera gear to help repair it. I've used it on vehicles in developing countries. I've put it over a cut on a hand. And baby wipes. I'll go with both of those. You get a big, big, uh, big package of them, and you don't have to have shower for like three or four days. It's great. It's wonderful. The one piece of photo gear I never leave home without is this. It's my little frame, and I have had this since the very beginning. I would hold it up, and I would just think about how would I frame this moment in front of me? How would I frame the woman at the bus stop? And and just kind of challenge myself to start seeing the world in frames. And so. This little thing goes with me everywhere. The one piece of photo gear that I've really taken a shine to lately um, that has found its way into my bag all the time, it's Sony's smallest flash. It, it's just, it's so small, so compact, and it gives me kind of this perfect amount of light for what I would consider kind of energetic party shots. You know, I can kind of pop that flash on there. I can put it in my jacket pocket. It's, it's a great, great tool. Um, to just throw a little extra light there. Well, because I love Sony mirrorless cameras, I'd have to say a bunch of batteries. Extra batteries. I have like 40 batteries, but we don't want to talk about Sony batteries. <laughs> Ex extra batteries. I think it's good to have tools. Tools and, and mints. Because I'm always interacting with people and I don't want to have stinky breath. My headbands. I love wearing headbands to shoot in. It obviously like keeps my hair out of my eyes, but it's so great with kids because kids love that they sparkle. One of my uh, families, their little girl thinks I'm Miss America, which is like the sweetest thing. I don't have the heart to tell her I'm not. <laughs> a little bag. It's like a like a little mojo bag. I don't know what's in it. So it's like a little charm that I always carry with me for good luck. And I get hangry, so power bar. I also carry nutrition bars. A piece of non-photo gear, it's easy. Some almond butter. Whatchamacallit. I love whatchamacallit. It's either that or hot sauce. Whenever I get somewhere and I'm on my way out, I'm traveling out of town, I fill up the gas tank, and uh, I stop at the store and I buy a whatchamacallit. You can always make a meal taste good with some hot sauce. The second piece of non-photo gear would be my lip gloss. Chapstick. There's like three in the bag, four in the car, in the jeans, in the washer, in the dryer. Just lip gloss that makes my, do you really want me to say all the reasons why I have lip gloss? <laughs> They're everywhere. It's, I can't, it, literally, which is good because it's not expensive. I'm traveling a lot on airplanes is I always have a good set of Sony earbuds so I don't have to listen to the crappy earbuds they have on on the planes. 
I've been pretty good from early on with always having earplugs. So I always have earplugs, uh, you know, some gum, uh, a duster bulb for my lenses. There's a few, a few choice items in there, maybe some Advil, um, but uh, always earplugs.